Okay, welcome to the Pinal County Board of Supervisors July 19, 2022 emergency session. This meeting is now convened. All supervisors attending telephonically, and could we please confirm attendance by roll call, please? Supervisor Kavanaugh? Here. Supervisor Goodman? Here. Supervisor Miller? Present. Vice Chairman Surdy? Here. And Chairman McClure? Here. Confirming all five board members are in attendance by telephonic appearance. All right. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Going up by phone. So we have one item today in that discussion, approval, disapproval of resolution number 071922-LSE, declaring a state of emergency relating to the weather-related power of Arizona City and surrounding areas. And I, see, I don't see the presenter, but I will assume Mr. Costello or someone like that is going to present. Okay. Natasha is hello, Mr. Uh, Chairman. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I hear you now. Yes. Yes. This is Chris Keller from the County Attorney's Office, and I'll introduce this item. Uh, as you know, uh, we were hit with a, a storm uh, in the last few days, and uh, as of. Uh, Yesterday, on July 17th, excuse me, the storm, and then on July 18th, uh, the city of Eloy declared a local state of emergency. Uh, we have a copy of that emergency declaration, and as a result, they have asked for assistance uh, through our emergency management department, and we have therefore prepared a resolution declaring an emergency related to the power outages uh, that are currently still ongoing in, uh, in the areas around uh, the city of Eloy, Arizona City, uh, and Toltec. Uh, so as a result, uh, we have a resolution that authorizes the county to provide mutual aid uh, in this uh, emergency, and it authorizes the county manager uh, to take action necessary to render that mutual aid to the affected political subdivisions. Uh, with that, uh, is there any questions? Are there any questions from the board? Mr. Chairman, this is Supervisor Miller. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Supervisor Miller. Just, just for a point of reference, I, I believe this will qualify us for some reimbursement by the state. That is correct. Assuming that we reach the, uh, the requisite numbers uh, to seek that reimbursement, but it does allow us to start operating under a separate cost center and tracking those costs. Thank you. Are, are there any other questions from the board? And, and if the board would right, like, here. we can have uh, uh, the clerk uh, read the uh, resolution uh, so that you all, because you do not have a copy of it, I believe. Do, do they have a copy? Uh, if you would like, you know, we can read that resolution into the record uh, if you would so choose. That, that Go ahead. Good. Please do that, Mr. Keller. Okay. Do you have a Natasha? You want to give it a shot? Whereas, beginning on July 17, 2022, and continuing in the following days, monsoon storms caused a power outage in the city of Eloy, Arizona City, and surrounding areas. And, whereas, power outages during the hottest part of the year pose an intimate and substantial risk to human life, health, and property. And, whereas, Responding to the power outages has required and will continue to require many county resources beyond their normal capabilities and budgetary capacity. And whereas the city of Eloy declared a local emergency for the city of Eloy on July the 18th, 2022, a copy of which is attached as Exhibit A. And whereas ARS 26-311C authorizes the county to provide mutual aid to other political subdivisions. 
Therefore, be it resolved that the chairman of the Pinal County Board of Supervisors declares a local emergency based on the power outages from storm damage occurring from July the 17th, 2022, and immediately thereafter. Be it further resolved that the county, through the county manager, may provide mutual aid to other affected political subdivisions as authorized by ARS 26-311C and request the state of Arizona and the federal government to provide disaster relief assistance. Resolved and declared this 19th day of July 2022 by the Pinal County Chairman Board of Supervisors. All right. Thank you, Tasha. Uh, just a question: How how long is this uh, emergency in effect? I mean, how how what's the time frame for this? Is it a couple of weeks? Do we, Mr. Keller, Mr. Chairman? At this point in time, I have not had an update yet. Uh, I believe there was a, a conference call this afternoon at two o'clock. Uh, we normally keep this open for several weeks so that we can get in the uh, necessary receipts and collect the data so that we can prepare the documentation to submit a, a request for reimbursement. Uh, it usually depends on how quick those come in. So normally it's, it's at least 30 days, uh, and sometimes it goes longer. So a month or two probably. Very well, yes. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Uh, does the board have any other questions? Anyone? All right, hearing hearing none, I'd ask for a motion, please. Mr. Chairman, Mr. I'll make a motion to approve the uh, uh, resolution as presented. And can I have you state Supervisor your name? Miller. This is Supervisor Miller. Thank you, Supervisor Miller. Do I, can I get a second, please? I have a motion. Have an off second. second. I have a motion and a second. Those in favor? Aye. If we, Aye. Can, if we can do a roll call yeah. vote, Chairman. Do a roll call. Yeah, you want please. to do a roll call? Supervisor Kavanaugh? Roll call vote. Aye. Supervisor Goodman? Aye. Supervisor Miller? Aye. Vice Chairman Surdy? Aye. Chairman McClure? Aye. That motion passes unanimous. All right. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for getting together, and thank you for all the hard work, uh, staff. And this meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.